everybody. Welcome to Say It Right, an emergency room here to heal ridiculous language diseases. Is your English in poor health? Do you need new words to clear your body of linguistic waste? Do you suffer from language indigestion? Then get ready because today I've prepared quite a special laxative for you. I'm Anne Marie, your language nurse, and today we will find out the following. How not to fall ill because of the incorrect usage of the words economical and economic, as well as conditioning and conditioner. In what cases working for peanuts may cost you a pretty penny and why it is so good to hit the jackpot. What is the origin of the word spam? And does it have to do with the cheap tinned meat product introduced in the market in the 1930s? I will help you digest all this in just a few seconds. Just sit back and feel how my medicine sessions take effect on your speech. Let's take a pill of knowledge. There are so many external factors which affect your language skills and keep you from having a vast vocabulary. Here are some of the hidden word pairs which get stuck in your linguistic system and don't want to come out of your mouth. It's time to fix the first set of words, economical and economic, which is not digested that easily. They seem to be almost identical, but still their meaning is different and can confuse anybody. So, economical is an adjective that means using money, time, and goods carefully and without wasting it. For example, aha, uh -huh, I've just bought an economical hybrid car. It's so great. From now on, I'll be able to save money on gas and besides won't harm the environment. But how is this different from economic, you ask me? Economic is also an adjective, but refers to something related to the field of economics. For example, my hospital is now developing an economic strategy for the future. Everything clear? Perfect. Then let's digest one more set of words. Conditioning and conditioner. The first word, conditioning, means changing something into a desired state. Also, it is a system that makes the air in a room or building cool and dry. For example, it's so hot in here. Please switch the air conditioning system on. But what about conditioner? It's a liquid that you put onto your hair after washing it to make it softer. For example, this conditioner makes my hair so soft. Friends, how are you feeling? I am sure my laxative had a mild effect on your linguistic system. Then it's time to get vitamin support for your language. Your vitamin idioms are here to keep you fit. They'll make you feel rejuvenated and strong. Do you know why? Because all of them are about money. To begin with, on my last job, I worked hard, day in, day out, but still never had enough money for the things I wanted to buy. Moreover, I just love things which cost a pretty penny. You might ooh, have figured out that the phrase to cost a pretty penny means something that is very expensive. But in my case, I was sort of working for peanuts. Too much to do and no financial reward. As you may have guessed, to work for peanuts means to get paid very, very little. 
But you'll never guess what happened next. Last week, I hit the jackpot. Unexpectedly, I was offered an excellent position at a company with a very, very good salary. To hit the jackpot means to win a lot of money or to have great success. Oh, I'm so happy. Wonder where I should go shopping first. Ah, sorry. On my part, I wish you never have to work for peanuts. Are able to afford anything that costs a pretty penny and also hit the jackpot. Anyway, I'm sure they will be paying you a pretty penny for all your amazing English skills. Keep up the great work. With improved digestion and a nice dose of vitamins, it's just about time for some relaxation. Let's do some meditation to keep your immunity strong until the next time we meet. Sit down and relax. Listen only to the sound of my voice. I bet you've not only heard, but also received it. It's spam. Oh, how oh, I hate it. Where are you coming from? Spam floods your email box with ads and other unwanted messages. But do you have any clue why it is actually called spam? Originally, spam was a tinned meat back in the 1930s, a brand name for a particular kind of cheap pork meat. It gained enormous popularity when Monty Python, a group of six British comedians back in the 70s and 80s, showed a sketch on their TV show where, just for fun, artists had spam with every item on the restaurant menu. Bacon and spam, eggs and spam, ham and spam, Spam and spam, 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 spam. And they actually sang a song about it, and it caught on. Due to this song, this word came into the language meaning an unwanted material of any kind. So when the internet came along, it wasn't really surprising that spam became part of that kind of experience. Interesting, huh? As for now, it's high time to wake up. When I count to three, you will wake up rejuvenated and ready to share your knowledge with everybody. Are you ready? One, two, three. Well, this is enough treatment for today. Let's do a checkup to see the state of your linguistic health. Uh-huh. You've digested the differences between economical and economic, as well as conditioning and conditioner. Excellent progress. Uh-huh. OK, all the vitamins worked. And from now on, you will never forget the idioms to work for peanuts, to cost a pretty penny, and to hit the jackpot. Super. And there. Hey, I see you not only know the origin of the word spam, but also will receive it more seldom. Great. You're truly on the way to recovery of better English. The more we work together, the more I see how strong it is getting. But never forget that it requires a therapy course to achieve perfect English. Work hard, and together we can restore your English to perfect health. This was Nurse Anne Marie, and you watched Say It Right. May your English be clean and healthy. So I have so many people on that. Pamienen, ah, energetic. Ah, Spam, spam, spam. It's a wonderful food. Раз в жизнь попробовала, но... Блин, забыла. Mayor Не, 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 сначала там было... Ну, все нормально, просто... 